Roy Orbison was and still is one of the most treasured voices in music and an Australian performer is making sure that his songs are never forgotten. John Stefan, welcome to the Ange Rob and Robbo Show. Thanks for having me, Rob. Look, John, you have been performing this extraordinary tribute show called You Got It, A Salute to Roy Orbison, and it's even been endorsed and presented by his eldest son, Wesley. This is huge. How is it to have the recognition and approval of someone so close to Roy? Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I, I grew up loving and, and, and learning from the greatest singers of all time, and, and the main one was Roy Orbison. My parents used to play his music every day, and uh, I moved to the United States just after leaving school and to uh, push my music career. I lived in, in Los Angeles for a while, and um, I decided to move to Nashville because every afternoon I'd go home from the studio working with people like Babyface and Pink's producers, and um, I would always just go home and, and start singing the music that I grew up loving. Mm. And um, when I moved to Nashville, I was lucky enough to be invited at, at this amazing event, the CMA Festival, where I sang for 50,000 people, but I chose crying a cappella. And um, the Orbison family just happened to be there listening at the time. Oh, wow. No. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. I walked off the stage and in the wings, and that's where uh, Barbara and uh, her son were there standing. And and, um, and from she there, said, I was never. St how dare you sing that song? Never do that again. Is that how it ends? That story? <laughs> well, well, it, it sounds like you've met Barbara. So. <laughs> she actually was uh, quite a little bit like that, and um, she was she was not, she was known for being very strong. She was from Berlin, and she had a few nicknames. But um, I got on quite well with her. She was she was um, a nice lady. She was Roy Orbison's second wife, and. Um, um, his first wife was a lady named Claudette who he wrote all his songs about but um, Barbara, you know, after she passed away, he married Barbara and um, she looked after Roy for quite a long time and um, they grew very close but she was also very protective so yeah. yes, she kind of did say that at first. <laughs> That's and, uh, amazing um, Now look, John, I know that you are very clear about one thing in particular and that's that you are not a Roy Orbison impersonator. It's that you pay tribute to him. So what in particular is it about the late great Roy Orbison that made you wanted to, to do that, to pay tribute to him? Um, oh, there's so many things. I mean, I would say out of every uh, any artist in history, you know, he's probably the most respected artist of all time when it comes to people within his industry. Um, every every star you ask who was one of the greatest singers of all time, they always say Roy Orbison. And um, a lot of people don't realise he wrote most of his songs as well. So it, it's not. It wasn't just the fact that he had such an amazing voice, and he was known as the Caruso of rock and roll, but. Uh, he also wrote these amazing songs, songs that doesn't matter what country you're from. And, and I've been all over the world singing in India, in um, the Philippines, in, in Japan, and, and, and all over Europe. And everyone knows Roy Orbison. And when you start singing Pretty Woman, they all know the lyrics, you know. So songs like Pretty Woman, Only the Lonely, You Got It, are just songs that I think will live around for many decades to come. So, John, they're obviously the, the songs that connect with the audience. Uh, do you ever get, you know, knickers thrown at you? Isn't that what happens with these kind of old crews <laughs> where people like the old, uh, the old uh, big, big knickers? Do you ever get that? It, it, it is. It is. Well, mm, yes. Yes and no. Look, with this audience, I, I'm an original artist as well. So I, I, I do, I've got well, three original People would throw albums. knickers at you, for goodness sake, John, but, surely. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have had I've had, I have I have had that happen, but I, think uh, I haven't had too. that just be that be any time. As I said earlier, equality for all. Got some bonds here. I hope this is probably not what you want to do, brother. He's got knickers <laughs> on standby. <laughs> oh, that he just ripped those off. Maybe he's, maybe oh, he doesn't wear uh, pants underneath. I don't know. It's very, very scary. <laughs> but that's not about these things. I've got to say, this... 
This show has gotten rave reviews for fans of Roy Orbison. It simply cannot be missed. For tickets and information to see John Stefan in You Got It, a salute to Roy Orbison, head to www.johnstefan.com. And if you are unable to make it, you can pick up the CD to hear John take on these iconic songs. Just head to johnstefan.com. John, thank you for joining us. You are an absolute delight. And uh, good luck. You, you're fantastic. Thanks for being on the Andrew and Robbo show. Thank you very much for having me, and I hope to see you again. Thanks, guys.